Hey guys. So, tonight's video is probably not going to be, um, I'm just not going to label it ASMR, um, for the sole fact that uh, it's not intended to be, um, um, I've, like, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, but like I haven't done it because I've just felt like I feel like a lot of people are gonna like judge it. Um, and one of my biggest fears is judgment from other people. Um, but at the same time, videos like this have helped me in the past to not feel like I'm so crazy. Um, to not feel like I... To feel like I'm not like a... To, to feel like I'm not so different. Um, that there are people that struggle with the same thing I struggle with and... Um, that, you know, it's a reminder that it's temporary. Um, so, yeah, tonight you're gonna see <laughs> what caffeine does to somebody that has really bad anxiety. sino cada noche. Me sabía cuando regresa, cuando regresa, cuando regresa. If you ever wanted to know what a highly caffeinated Maddie looks like, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> My mind is like moving a thousand miles a minute. However, it just took me like three minutes straight to um to see i can't even talk what is this like my mind is moving so fast so fast and yet i can't even talk it t it just took me like three minutes to recite two tiny paragraphs um for my spanish oral quiz three minutes <laughs> like tiny and it took me three minutes to say all of it and i was like <laughs> I'm tired now, but I'm really really hyper. This my friends is why I don't drink caffeine like ever because when I do I get Woo! My head feels like it's gonna explode. Hi, hi, baby. The cats help, for sure. Um, they're very perceptive animals, and they totally can sense when something's wrong. Hmm. Um, even just 
having this one like lock on my chest um, feels good because it's like it's like any any weight or any um like when you hug somebody I guess it's like any form of um interaction with the loved one or with an animal like it makes you feel grounded even just for a minute so it's been like five hours um, and essentially what happened was because you guys are probably like well if she knows that this happens to her then why does she do this and I even asked myself that question a lot um, well not a lot I guess because I don't do this to myself very often like I know what it does to me so I don't it's like like there are times where I'm like I'll say that I'm allergic to coffee so that I don't drink it because it does bad stuff. Um, anyways, um, I went to coffee shop to do my homework. I was really tired and I couldn't focus and I'm on my period so um, some of you guys are probably like too much information but um, but like when you're having a day like that and you have like a lot to get done but you're feeling so unproductive and you like can't figure out like everything takes you so much longer than it really should um so I was having one of those days so I went to this I went to um Starbucks and I genuinely love the taste of coffee like just the black stuff you know with a little bit of cream and sugar so I got a grande um and like I only drank two thirds of it and like automatically, like even after I had drinking a third of it, I was like <sighs> really, really feeling anxious. And it's like it doesn't help because I was in public. And like when you're really, really anxious and you're in public, it's like especially when there's like nobody around that you know, and you're like it's like um. It just makes the feeling really like a lot harder um, to mask and um, but I kept drinking it because I'm stupid and because I wanted to get all my homework done so that I didn't have to worry about it anymore and I was like super stressed about it and I didn't <laughs> just like could not focus and Duh, I mean, caffeine makes it harder to focus. Or at least it does to me. Anyways, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> like, can you see? Um. Anyway, so. It's been like five hours. Um. The first you like once I finished my homework and I came home from the coffee shop I was like super hyper and um 
I was in a good mood, so like all of the caffeine was being Like, I was just, you know, I was able to tell myself that I was excited, and that was why, like, I f felt so, um, like, anyways, the caffeine, like, it wasn't, I didn't feel so panicky once I left the coffee shop and came home, because I was able to be around, you know, people that I love, and be super hyper and silly, and, like, not worry about anybody judging me, and so, yeah that helped and then um excuse me um came home and ate dinner and it's like it's like always as you start to like relax or try to and like you unwind then like I get the shakes really bad and um, my mind is, like, going a million miles a minute, and, um, I get, like, knots in my stomach, and I feel like the inside of my body is, like, like tightening up but like falling apart at the same time like it's like it's like I'm shutting down <laughs> and I don't even know Panic attacks feel like to me they feel like, like my, my body's shutting down like I can't function and I don't know why and I don't understand it I mean, I understand it, like, I, I know what, <laughs> it's been long enough, I know what, like, a, a, I know what a panic attack feels like, I know what the onset of a panic attack feels like, I know how, yeah, I know how to prevent them, and I always feel so stupid when I, make decisions like this and I don't prevent them. Like you know, you know, you know the decision you're making and you know how it's gonna play out and how it's gonna make you feel, but then you do it anyways. Why do we do that to ourselves? It's not like I didn't know what was gonna happen. It's not like I did it, like, to be making this video right now. Like, obviously, I don't ever wanna hate being in this headspace why I wouldn't want to do it to myself I wouldn't want to be in this position and yet I put myself in this position I did it anyways and it was like a, it was just like you know my head being like oh you know maybe it won't happen this time I knew it would
panic attack is officially over. Um, this one wasn't near as bad as they usually get, and I think it was because I was trying, like, I was focusing on something other than the panic attack. I was trying to make this video and, um, not fall apart. Um, so, obviously I've still, I'm still, like, all over the place. And, um, now comes the fun part, which is trying to go to sleep. Um, with all this caffeine in my system. I guess it's probably not, I don't know whatever. Probably not in my system anymore. I don't know. Whatever. You know, the end part of it. Whatever. Um, so, I know that, like, some of you that watched this, you're probably like, okay, well, I don't get it, because her panic attack doesn't look anything like um, you know, you would see in the movies, or like, I don't know, and I guess, well, well like I said, tonight was kind of a different one, like, they vary in their strength, and, um, in how long they take to, um, you know, kind of pass, and also they, they look different for everybody, I think, I think everybody deals with stuff differently, and so obviously a panic attack is gonna look different. my panic attacks when I first started getting them looked so much worse like I would just sit in my room and bawl my eyes out for a good half an hour and then I'd be in bed for like another you know hour because it was like I didn't know what was happening to me and that makes it so much worse because you just feel like you're like once you accept that it is panic attack and, it, and that it's your brain telling your body that something's wrong when nothing really is um, when you know more about anxiety and panic attacks or you know whatever you deal with obviously it's not as scary and it doesn't affect you the same way it does when you don't know what's going on. Um, anyways, I guess my point was just that people go through panic attacks all the time and you don't always see it because after years of dealing with it, you learn to mask it as best as you can and it may just look like somebody is you know having an off day or they're not in a good mood or um stressed out when the reality is that on the inside they f they're screaming like it, they're dealing with this extreme feeling of <sighs> Of struggling through you know different pains and different like god I don't even know how to explain a panic attack it's like it's so much happening all at once it's like your head is I get bad headaches with the panic it's like it's like it starts like the panic attack starts with a, a headache and that pain kind of just washes over my head and then it's like as it reaches my body like my body's obviously at that point like shaking and like my stomach is in pain and I'm like all 
all of a sudden I feel like the most stressed out person in the world and like I have there's no reason for me to like I feel so so stressed and depressed and like something is so so wrong it's like that that panic feeling and there's no real reason for it I don't know. And then obviously that doesn't help the depressive thoughts. It just like continues the depressive thoughts. It's like... Because it feels like it's never going to end and you're just going to be stuck feeling that way. And um, My point was that Everybody deals with stuff differently, and every panic attack may look different, and, um, you shouldn't judge people that deal with something that you may not deal with yourself, um, because just because you don't deal with it doesn't mean that it doesn't feel, that it's not real to the people who do deal with it. Obviously, panic attacks are well. Often they're due to chemical imbalances. So essentially, your brain is telling you, telling your body to panic, to go into panic mode. But there's usually no real reason for going into panic mode. So every part of it feels real. Even though it's, you know, nothing's really wrong. Anyways, I've been rambling for so long and you guys are probably tired of hearing me talk. Um, I, I really just wanted to make this video so that other people who watch ASMR, who may watch my channel, who may even just stumble across this video and may not even watch ASMR or not even know who I am, and that's totally, totally fine. I don't even care. <laughs> but I do care about helping other people that deal with anxiety because for the longest time I dealt with it in silence and I try not to tell anybody tried to put on a brave face and not let anybody know and um and it it easily was the worst thing that I could have done to help myself get better because it just adds to the anxiety um anyways I, I just I want to help I hope that you guys never feel alone, especially those of you who struggle with panic disorder, who, you know, have to go through this so often that literally, like, you become a pro at hiding it. Because I feel you, and I've been there, and I know how it feels. So I just, I don't want you to ever feel alone and I don't want you to ever feel like it's never going to end because mental illness is an ongoing battle that I feel like we all face, but at the same time, it's not forever. And it's, at the end of our life, it's not, like, we're not going to look back at our life and be like, oh yeah, look at all those panic attacks I had. Um. You got to get past the hard stuff to become stronger and to to get to the good stuff. You got to fight. Because it's worth it. Even when it doesn't seem like it, it's worth it. So, um, I love you guys. And I hope that this helps even just a little bit. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, no big deal, and if people are annoyed by it, whatever, 
and to the people that are going to judge me and, like, you know, totally hate comment the comment section below. It happens. Um, and it is what it is, and I... Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next ASMR video. Bye.